Anybody there? Better not try any Can Halloween pranks time? after today. Serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Blind. Okay, that's that's a little bit better. I can actually see the graffiti. Can't see much else though. So invisible. Were you just in a stall? Let's bail. That was only hard because I can't see. I couldn't see anything. It was like pitch black. All I could see was his flashlight, and so I had to stay in the flashlight to see myself. Wait! Turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. Get in. They're not gonna hear that piece of shit turn on. <laughs> Later, fuckers. Max, you rock. We are so fucking awesome. <laughs> yes, we so are. Oh, damn it, daughter. <laughs> I recognize that truck. Do I get to wear pajamas? <laughs> we should just sleep in our wet clothes. I mean, weren't they be soaking? They got out of the swimming pool into clothes. Why don't people sleep with their fucking blankets? In this whole in this whole game, every time the person's woke up. Always remember this moment. They don't use blankets. Like Photo Bomb! Photo hog. Someone's gonna see them like gay. It feels <clears throat> like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I you can't like even send my fun? photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... Since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel and pay Frank off, I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. No, you don't. You're suspended, criminal. 
Nobody suspended my homework. If I don't turn it in, the school will contact my folks again. And Max gets in more trouble. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to See, sometimes it just it, it doesn't tell you what button to press. Until you like press it. And then it tells you. It's like, oh press okay. the button again. I need to get dressed now. I don't think I'll be washing today. If I stayed hidden, no way would I have been suspended. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hat. I don't think I'll be moshing today. The fuck? Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl <clears throat> come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Yeah. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance, unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Okay. If you don't kiss her, then you can get with her later. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. I am so going to pass on Brandy for that. I love that Chloe is so fearless. Fourth wall break. Oh, that's the funniest shit. This is exactly what I did. Oh god, that's fucking hilarious. Looking sick, Max. A couple she tats, some piercings, and before. we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind sometimes. and find out, okay? She does look much more attractive with that. Oh, thank God she's okay. She looks less like a I wonder when I can visit her. Chloe is so damn cute. I might as well start blazing if I was dumb enough to get suspended. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. I thought, Chloe Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. I had a phone like that once. So yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, the fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Oh. Two condoms and some wrappers. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. I like the peaceful music, okay? Oh my god, that smells so amazing. 
I don't want to read. Like when we were kids here. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. Damn <laughs> Serious flashback. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. I haven't had to use brush my teeth a lot lately because I got the reason I wasn't talking is because I got a tooth infection. It feels um, so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. Because my wisdom teeth are grown in. They're still grown in, so it's still a little bit painful. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Can I? No, oh, shit. That'd be cool. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. I mean, it's a day I get to live over again. Groundhog. I also waited this set till this episode to start playing because this is where it like starts to pick up more exciting stuff. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Wowza. Chloe still eats the same cereal. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Where's the milk? Where's the milk? The milk. Why is it on the counter? Now for the mother's milk. Ew. Oh man. I don't want to be famous for who drinks beer this early around here. Squirrels. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is, smart. She always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, Jesus. are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. 
Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> Go sit at the table. Sorry if I'm chewing and you people don't like it. You guys don't like it. That's how you freeze time. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Bitch. Now that's what I call pancakes. All I can tell you guys is that the video I post is gonna be my well the video next video I do of the special thing I've been talking about is going now that's the thumbnail's what I call gonna be pancakes. the thing I have. The thing I got. The thing I wanna surprise you guys with. Finish the last bite. What are we doing? Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. She purposely started a fight. <laughs> Fucking asshole. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Yeah, that's still there. What not matter? No Hits. shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. 911? Nothing in it. Maybe turn on the monitor? Naturally, David would- I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. Maybe I could try Stepdad for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? I could try the license number for the password. I think it's the one huh. on his army photo. Maybe this ID number might work. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank.
Nope. Shit. Oh, shit balls. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Maybe you should search, search the last place. Nothing to see here. Never mind, it doesn't matter. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That. cute. I can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote that might be a useful password. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. That's cute. Could be a password here. That's not that's not how you get passwords. You're supposed to remember passwords, so no one else can find it. Such wrong no way, Master. Suck it off. Magic eight ball, no way. No I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. Worst. If it's fucking stepped at I swear to god. Nope. Oh, shit balls. What if it's shit balls? Score! Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Instead of this is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Better tell Chloe about this now. You're Whoa, gonna... and this is so wrong. You're not gonna lock it? <gasps> Creepy bastard. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them.
figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. Must be nice to be suspended and have some free time off Blackwell. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens <laughs> them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You going to my mom's? Can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Let me go walk out in shame. There you go. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Fine. That was, that was great when earlier when I predict when she, she she broke the fourth wall with that shit. <laughs> Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Is he eating cookie dough? Fuck, I wanna- Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. Mm, that looks delicious, actually. Looks like a bowl of cookie dough. I oh, can't fuck. believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. So hungry. We have to be casual ninjas here. Mm. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Look for a wiener. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. What's a this bird? Is so creepy. Can I say this? No, I can't say the bird. Dead bird. Dad. Fuck off. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? A tornado? I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. <laughs> well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. How about that. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. Yeah, don't don't get killed by any tornadoes. Or or just tell yourself you fucking weirdo. 
I'm not a penguin. What are you talking about? Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to. Steal a drug dealer's keys. Good luck. That doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. I, I, I think he's watching a Murray. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. What's funny is I live like pretty close to where this takes place. You should have jumped, asswipe. Shit. What are the other signs then? America. Well, potatoes in a basket. Swing that basket around. And kick a kid in the face with it. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can... I could chug this beer, or dump it on Frank. Do it! Beer is gross, so... I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking oh, creep sounds... me out. Very fucking sexual. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Oh, shit, I gotta take Kate, my vacation. Kate, counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. I'm dying. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Uh, I'm gonna pause this and continue it later because I gotta go take my vacation to eat dinner, so I'll be right back.